What is going on everybody? If you want to find out how you can win up to 100 thousand vc for my month of october giveaway be sure to stay to the end of the video so you can find out the rules all right guys let's get into it what is going on everybody dominus here and in this video i'm going to teach you guys a couple tips in order to get to that 90 overall a lot faster now here's the thing I was like an 88 for the longest time. I got up to an 85 and got up to an 88 and then I was just stuck. Once I hit that 89, I hit 90 within a week. It was easy. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I did and what a lot of people are doing that you may not know. Certain game modes that you like playing aren't gonna be the best for you. All right guys, so let's get into it. All right guys, so before we get started, I do wanna be clear on something. When it comes to getting to this 90 overall a lot faster, if you follow the steps, it will happen for you. I only started doing it at an 89, but I let this information out before making a video on it and people told me that it really helped them out to hit that 90. Now, when it comes to hitting it within a week, that really refers to people who are an 85. These steps will still help you if you're not an 85, but when it comes to a week, you know, you'd have to be that 85 because that's just where it really will help you out but again if you're a 78 and you're trying to get to a 79 this will still help you so when you do this you're one not gonna have to buy vc because all the vc you use is going to be from endorsement deals and if you don't have any endorsements yet be sure to check out one of my last videos i have a whole video talking about how you can earn endorsements all right so let's just break this down for you most of the people who want to hit that 90 overall, want to get there so they can play in the playground and be repping their 90, you know what I mean? But here's the thing when it comes to that. In order to do that, you cannot play in the playground to get that 90 overall. You got to play in the league or the pro am Only two places that can happen, and I'll tell you guys why. I mean, here's the thing, honestly, honestly, you can play in the playground to get the 90 overall, but it will take way longer and you will have to put in extra work. And that's something that this video is not trying to teach you how to do, put in that extra work. Now, we wanted the quick and easy way. So playing in the league and playing in the pro ams they do two things for you. One, what you're trying to do is get that bar up as far as you can. That, you know, the bar that tells you until your next upgrade. You want to get that up as far as you can on a game to game basis. The playground, that doesn't do it for you. The playground, unless you score all 21 points by yourself and you're beasting it on the boards and somehow you're also dropping dimes but still scored the 21 points, you're not going to be able to get that bar up far enough on a game to game basis. But you can do that in the league and in the pro am. Okay, that was my mistake and a lot of people's mistake starting off this game. I played so much playground and I played little league. I played actually a good amount of league. No pro am, barely pro am. I mean, now I'm playing pro am a lot because I figured out you know the little things that you got to do to rank up a lot faster. Now I know the G size G whatever. I don't know the 97 overall dude. He puts in that work. He plays playground, but the dude wakes up and goes to sleep like ridiculous hours. I mean, I do the same thing, but I don't do it playing 2K. I do it making videos. So he's on another level. He's not in this for this video. This video is not for people like him. Okay. So play in the league. All right. We'll talk about the league first. Play in the league and make sure you put those quarters up to 12 minutes and set it on the easiest difficulty. Now, if you want to, if you're not a pro am guy, you can just do it all in the league. When it comes to the league, though, you got to do specific things. These things will help raise the bar up a lot faster. So, you know, you can get your points. You can get high points, high assists, high rebounds. But at the end of the day, that's not going to get you up as fast as if you were to do these things. One, score in the fast break. Anytime that ball comes off the rebound, you either book it or you book it with the ball. So you get the rebound, go coast to coast, or you're gone and you're mashing X for them to throw that ball down to you. The other thing is shoot threes. If you're not a three-point shooter, because my player, he's not a three-point shooter, but I shoot threes anyways. I get a nice wavy jump shot and I pull up from deep. I do it in the playground. I do it in the league. It does not matter. I just do it. And the reason is because you actually get more, you get more points added towards your bar if you pull up from deep. 
Now, another thing when it comes to the league, throw fancy passes. If you can't throw fancy passes, don't throw them across court or anything like that. Get right up next to your teammate and double tap circle or whatever the flashy pass is for you and give them that little easy flashy pass. The more of those you do, even if it's not towards an assist, just a regular flashy pass, you earn actual points for that. Just passing the ball with a flashy pass, you earn points, which is ridiculous to me. Now, the other thing is play lockdown defense. And even if you can't play lockdown defense, at least stay in front of your man. Now, when it comes to the playground, if you guys see my videos, I don't really do that. But out here in the league, psh, defensive player of the year four years in a row. So, yeah, that helped me get to that 90 overall a lot faster. Now, I'm going to talk about the Pro-Am for a minute. It comes to the Pro-Am. Don't do 90% of the things I just said. Or actually, do a good portion of those, but don't do the flashy passes. Don't just book it up the court. And do play lockdown defense, but don't leave your man open. Because you can actually get kicked out the game if your teammate grade falls below a D- minus or falls in that D- minus area. You can get kicked out, and that's not what you want. Because if you get kicked out in like the fourth quarter, all of your work goes out the window. When it comes to the Pro-Am, what you want to do is just be a great teammate, not a good teammate, a great teammate. If you're good at that, then this is the place for you, the Pro-Am. You get to play online, and it's like the playground, but no one can refuse to play with you. You know what I mean? Like, you get put in the server, you get put in the server. In the playground, people can move away from you if they want to. So, when it comes to the Pro-Am, make sure you play lockdown defense or at least contest shots. Get that teammate grade all the way as high as you can get it because out here in the Pro-Am, that's what matters. Also, when it comes to offense, only take smart shots. As in the league, you're able to jack up any shot you want. In the Pro-Am, you cannot do that because you have teammates. If you jack up random jumpers, random fast break layups, your team will stop passing it to you and then it'll be a waste of time. You don't want that, all right? So take it from a guy who sometimes gets iced out of the offense and who has to get their own rebounds to get the ball, you don't want that. So if you guys think that you'll benefit more from playing in the league than the Pro-Am, I urge you to do that because the reason, the reason you do not try to grind your way in the playground is because one, if you're already a low overall, no one will let you join. Two, it does not move you up fast enough because you don't have enough time to get the stats that you need to get. And because of all the background stuff that they add in the playground, it adds extra lag to the game in that mode. And because of that, it will cause you to get kicked out of the game more times than not. Or choppy servers, or you know what I'm talking about, the lag, the 2K usual. And because of that, it'll impair your ability to ball out. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe because I make videos like this all the time. I also want to say that if you are not following me on Twitter or Instagram, go ahead and do that because I got that giveaway going on. So if you want to be a part of that, learn how you can increase your chances, you're going to want to do that. And hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in my next one. Peace. If you want in on this VC giveaway, all you have to do is become a subscriber and comment telling me that you are in this giveaway. Now, if you want to learn how you can increase your chances, go ahead and message me on any of those social media platforms besides PSN because that's not really a social media platform. Anyways, guys, that's it. Subscribe, comment, and you're in. And I will see you in my next one. Peace.